right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's cryptic crossword for Monday, April 15th. It is set today by Brummy. Let's see what Brummy has in store for us. Delivered, book, draft, on time. I'm thinking this is going to be a double definition, although maybe not. Maybe delivered is the definition. Could it be a book draft followed by the letter T for time? Um, delivered. Ah, but it would be a past tense ending in a T. Uh, I suppose it could be a O-U-G-H-T book draft. What's another word for a book draft? Oh, an MS, maybe a manuscript. No, not getting it. It could kill you to let go when on limb, exclamation. That worries me a little bit. So I think it's going to be a bit of a stretch. Maybe a double definition, but a punning one. It could kill you. Something fatal. To let go when on limb. Well, I'm thinking limb of a tree. Falling from a tree could kill you. Um, no, not seeing it. How about a fashionable area might just... All right, I'm thinking it's going to be a fashionable area. Uh, just, of course, they're suggesting only just. But well, that might mean uh, fair. Oh, might could be May. And is May fair? I remember from Monopoly, it was one of the expensive properties. So I presume that's the fashionable area. Now let's try the downs with, oh, there's some juicy letters. Disney character on reflection, hardly adult. Oh, the M makes me think of Bambi. And then if you reflect on, you get no. And that would be a Bambino, who is a uh, baby in Italian. How about male-centered sporting policy associated with certain games. Male-centered makes me think we're going to put the letter M in the center of maybe something for a sporting policy. And we get something that's associated with certain games. Hmm. No, I'm not seeing it. How about uh, haughty, awful, pain, old Joanna? Well, I know a uh, Joanna in rhyming slang is the piano. Oh, and awful pain could mean anagram pain followed by O for old. And then haughty would be grand, so a grand piano. That's good. Ooh. Uh, so that maybe this is uh, brought. Ah, yes. So I think if you delivered something, you brought it. And book, I think, is B. It's a common abbreviation of book. Uh, a draft, I think, might be a rough, a rough sketch. And then T for time. All right. Oh, associated with certain games. Oh, something Y. That must be Olympic, which does have the M in the middle. And sporting is an anagram indicator. So it's an anagram of policy. You bung an M in the middle and you get Olympic. All right. Thanks on capturing weirdly natural scary creature. 
All right, so I think it's going to be a scary creature. And the thanks must be ta. And then I think it's going to be an anagram of an of a natural, weirdly natural. And so I can see tarantula would be a scary creature. Uh, where does the capturing come in? Um, well, you could put the ta around and capture the anagram of natural, I suppose. In which case the the on, well, on capturing, I suppose it's allowable as a linking word. All right. Uh, one's exercise with ball shows restraint. Ah, it's funny, the word I can see that would fit is impudence, which doesn't mean one's exercise are. I'm thinking the definition is going to be restraint. Hmm. One might simply be I exercise with ball. What is exercise with ball? Yeah, I really want that to be impudence, but maybe there's some other word that fits there. How about rather large? Oh, I believe just from watching Cracking the Cryptic and David Webb's videos, that rather large can be outsize, which is abbreviated to OS. A vehicle is a car, and that gives us an award. Yeah, so far I have to say this is being fairly gentle with us, which is nice to have on a Monday. All right, I skipped this one. Uh, mock light with ring attached. I think the definition might be mock which could either be the verb to make fun of somebody, or it could be an adjective meaning faux, fake, mock. And I'm thinking light. We need a, a word for light with an O at the end, a ring attached. Can I think of a word for mock that ends in O? No, I cannot. All right, how about pass on after last of bone extracted from joint? Well, the last of bone is the E. I'm thinking we have to think of maybe a six letter joint, remove the E, and we get pass on. Now, is that pass on as in pass away? Or just to. Um, decline, pass on something, pass on. So what's a six letter joint? Uh, I'm only thinking of elbow, knee, shoulder, ankle. I'm thinking of a six letter one. All right, how about people may wrongly believe this Burnham ground hosts Sunday cricket finals. Oh my goodness. I think the definition is people may wrongly believe this. Oh, and I can think of a two word phrase for something that people believe or pass along an urban myth. Um, Ground is an anagram indicator. So, yeah, I think we have all the letters of Burnham in urban myth. And it does, uh, we need an extra Y and a T. 
which we get from putting inside it the final letters of Sunday and cricket. All right, and we get our urban myth. Very nice surface on that one, I think. All right, let's go back to the downs. Another two-parter. Member goes after Sham, failed presidential candidate. No need to panic. I think that's going to be the definition. The beginning part all seems like wordplay. Member could be an MP, which are nice letters that go together. Or it could be a limb, an arm, or a leg. It goes after sham. So I think some word for sham, fake, foe. And then maybe even the name of a failed presidential candidate. So who's a failed presidential candidate well known enough to make it to a crossword? No need to panic. No, I'm not getting it. Artists sleep activity mark Twain's head. I'm thinking it might be an artist, just because the rest of it is so weird. Um, sleep activity, of course, could be... Oh, I was going to say dream, but then I thought of, oh, how about REM sleep? And of course, now I can think of a uh, an artist. So sleep activity is REM. Mark is a brand trademark or a brand and Twain's head is the final T. That's nice. All right, getting some good crossing letters there, uh, but let's carry on with the downs. Ladies say, oh, ladies could be a toilet, in a rush, not in a friendly way. I have a feeling not in a friendly way is going to be the definition, mainly because it ends in Y, and I think it's going to be an adverb, not in a friendly way. And so we're going to have, well, maybe Lou could be the ladies in a rush. Which is then going to be some word for in a rush. Now, is the ladies going to go inside a rush word? No, I think it's going to be following the, the loo or the WC or whatever it might be. I do like loo, though. Not in a friendly way. Ah, but I can't think of... No, Julie, uh, no, not getting it. Gold pieces first, stuck on, how cute, candelabrum. Ooh, we always see candelabra as opposed to the singular candelabrum. I think that's going to be the definition with Gold can be O-R or A-U. I think pieces first might be the first letter of pieces. And then stuck on, oh, how cute might be an anagram of how. Is that possible? Well, we do have an H. But um, that would be a very unusual ending. O W H W O H. I can't think of words like that. No. Now well, let's go back to the acrosses. English impertinence. Every individual pinches Frenchman's bottom. Exclamation. I think Brummy is proud of this one. 
Well, English is so often E. I would have thought that was part of the word play. Now we're going to start with E. Of course, impertinence could be cheek, which is related to bottom, but um, every individual could be each. And then pinches Frenchman's bottom. Oh my goodness. Um, because that certainly seems a bit like wordplay at the end. Frenchman's bottom. Um, is that cool? Or is that another part of the body? Um, but I am wondering if it could end in E-A-C-H. Oh, but of course it says every individual pinches, which maybe each goes around the Frenchman. But what would English impertinence be? Ah, is there some typically English phrase? No, no, if it did end in an ACH, uh, I'm just thinking this looks like it could be Bohemian. No, not long enough. Above Uriah's Deviance. Well, that does sound like an anagram of Uriah's. Not a way. Oh, uh, behavior would fit in the correct spelling with the U. Um, above, let's see, we have Uriah. Um, oh, above Uriah. Ah, uh, but not a way. So I think we remove something from that. All right, I had a bit of a phone call there, so uh, it's quite a while later. All right, looking at this one, behavior, uh, anagram of above Uriah, which has 10 letters. Oh, I think it's simply not A, because above Uriah has two A's, and we only need one. All right. Well, that V is, uh, oops, is very juicy. Uh, some reason my um, keyboard didn't rec uh, register there. All right, it's a big thing. Latin have to get translated. Sounds like an anagram of Latin have with that V. Um, something big. Let me pause and check that. Ah, how about uh, Leviathan? Whoops, and again, my uh, keyboard and funny things going on. I'll be right back. All right, uh, let's try Leviathan anagram and uh, of Latin have, and it is a big thing. All right, oh, here's a uh, topical one. Sequence of Trump's initial downfall. Well, I think that first T is Trump's initial. And then a word for downfall, and the whole thing means a sequence. Uh, could downfall simply be rain? Train be a sequence? I think it can, or as, you know, in, in sequence, as in its train. Yeah, I think possibly. How about the endless invasion of a solitary Irish location? Oh, well, I, this one is right up my alley. I think this is the Irish town of Athlone. So Lone is solitary, uh, and the endless is TH, which invades a loan to give us Athlone. All right, how about puzzle? 
involving puns only shortened. Um, I presume it's hmm, a puzzle involving puns. Could be an anagram of puns only shortened. Something is short, or maybe the, the word, the definition is shortened. No, I'm not seeing it. How about enjoying continued success playing a character on the radio? Well, there's a phrase that comes to mind on a roll if you're enjoying continued success. And on the radio is a homophone indicator for a role, R-O-L-E, playing a character. Um, not sure where playing, I think, can be on in some senses. Maybe even if a radio is playing, it's on. And then a character is a role. Okay, now our, we have N something N something L. That's a funny combination of letters. No, not seeing it. All right, I've been jumping around quite a bit. Uh, I do want to go back to this one. One's exercise with ball shows restraint. Oh, well, a ball could be a dance. Of course, I was thinking of a, uh, a round ball, but I'm thinking it is going to be a something dance. And that could be, oh, maybe impedance as in resistance could be restraint. Yeah, I've, so one is, is I am, which is I am, P-E and dance, it has to be that. Uh, so the top left corner is done. Uh, still no idea about this, it could kill you to let go. When on limb, no. Or mock, light with ring attached. No, or pass on. No, not getting that. All right. Um, and still nothing on this. English impertinence. Could it be somebody whose name is English? Their impertinence. No. Uh, Frenchman's bottom, of course, is derriere. I should have remembered is a French bottom. All right, how about month before an attempt to acquire new figure? Um, so I'm thinking new figure might be the our figure, maybe, is the definition. We have a month abbreviation, maybe. Maybe an attempt is simply try. And to acquire new, it may end in N. And it means a figure. Now let me pause and run through the months of the year and see if there's any likely one. Ah, yes, I made it all the way to October, and then I was thinking, oh, how about an octagon? And I think it is that an attempt is go. You have a go if you have a try at something, and then our N for new. And a figure in, I suppose, a mathematical sense. Uh, let's have a look at the last two crosses. Holding note with Sinatra. Ooh, that's a 
very cryptic. Frank, old blue eyes, crooner, holding note. No, nope. minor, habit condensed from personality. No, I don't see that either. All right, where did we go in the uh, downs? Um, study sound with e.g. mouth instrument. Ooh. Well, I think it's going to be something organ. Uh, there is a reed organ, which I think has come up in this crossword before. Uh, study. I think study sound is a homophone indicator. Uh, to study something can be to read it. Um, think of university challenge where they say I'm reading medicine. Uh, with e.g. mouth. So I think mouth is an example of an organ and it is an instrument. Funny, that made me think of mouth organ and I think that's what subconsciously got me on the right lines. How about second drink Bordeaux? Ooh. Second Second can be a verb, meaning to agree with second, or it could be a time period. Uh, drink. Oh, uh, Bordeaux could be plonk, but I can't think of uh, something plonk. Of course, Bordeaux is also a region in France. Yeah, that's a tricky one. How about austere box belt? I have a feeling it's going to mean austere, and we form it by putting two words together, meaning box and belt. Belt can be a verb as well as a noun. Austere. Yeah, not uh, seeing that one either. There was our puzzle involving puns, only shortened. I'll come back to that one. As a bean pole is set to absorb two fertilizer elements. Um, I'm wondering if it could be, no, I think it might be a hidden clue as a bean pole is set to absorb two fertilizer elements good lord as well nitrogen would be one right so n i what's the other one As a bean pole, is that saying skinny, lean? No, I'm not saying that one either. All right, I think I'm going to resort to using the website wordplays.com and uh, seeing what words fit these strange letter patterns. Ah, okay, it is not an everyday word, but to nonplus somebody is to puzzle them. And it's simply an anagram of puns and only, but only dropping the Y. Ah, yeah, I definitely should have seen that. Um, so, here's this two-parter. Member goes after Sham. Failed. Ah, so I'm thinking of a phrase that means no need to panic that fits these letters, and that would be false alarm. I do see we have an arm, which would be the member. Goes after Shem failed. Presidential. 
Ah, Al is the uh, failed presidential candidate. Um, old Al, uh, what's his name from Tennessee? Um, and then, oh, Sham is simply false. Oh, okay, I thought there might be more to it than that, but just false, Al, and arm. All right, ooh. Now it could kill you to let go when on limb. Wow, what could kill you? Yeah, I'm not uh, saying that. Let me look up wordplays.com. Eh, I was just typing the letters in and I thought of uh, how about firearm would fit. It is something that could kill you and to let someone go. So it's not to let yourself go or to let go of something. It's to fire somebody. And again, a limb is an arm. Now that's um, strange that we have two references to arm. Maybe there is a theme in here, but I don't think so. Anyway, a firearm. Ah, now to, to mock, I think must be to lambast, 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 yeah. Let's see, light, um, what is light with ring attached? Huh, I can see light might be the first L. How is ambast? Let me look up and see if there is a word ambast. I've never heard of it. No, I'm uh, not finding any word ambast. Uh, so let's check this one. Ah, so that is not right. So mock, oh, lampoon, how about that? But how is, um, I still don't know how the ampoon works. Light with ring attached. Let's check that one. That is correct. So I got it at the second bite of the cherry. All right. How about gold pieces first stuck on? How cute. Candelabrum. The only word I can think of that fits here is monarch, but I have no idea how that works. Um, and it's not an anagram of how, so I don't think this is going to be right. No. Funny, the crossing letters are all right. Uh, let's reveal that one. Oh, of menorah, of course, of course. So let's see how this works. Uh, gold pieces first stuck on how cute oh um i think how cute might simply be ah now i would think how cute the word that would be said would be all a w uh so if how cute is a h i don't agree with that gold i think is the o r Oh, and pieces are men in chess. Oh, I should know that, watching the candidates tournament. Of course, of course. All right, so ladies say in a rush, not in a friendly way. Oh, let me pause and think about that one. Ah, of course, uh, I forgot about my ladies being a Lou. I just didn't think it might begin with A, Alu, and then in a rush is to fly, and if somebody is being aloof, they are not being friendly. All right. Uh, so to pass somebody on could be to refer them. Oh, and the joint is reefer, which we had recently, and we take that E, the last letter of bone, out of reefer. All right. Um... Just 
let's try and get 28 and finish the bottom right. Minor habit condensed from personality. Ooh, um, I wonder if it could be a less word or a ness. Rumness, rimless. No, I'm not thinking of that. Let me uh, pause and think about it some more. Oh my goodness, I had to resort to wordplays.com. There weren't that many uh, seven words that fit this pattern. The very first one I disregarded, um, but then I came back to it when the others didn't seem to fit. And that was rompers. So the definition, believe it or not, is minor habit. Habit in the sense of, I suppose, a one-piece garment that a minor, a very young person, might wear. Now that, to me, is really in that gray area of, is that fair to the solver to define the word as a minor habit? But the condensed is telling us it's simply a hidden clue that within from personality there is rompers. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think that's going a little too far, especially on a Monday. All right. Um, oh, I forgot that this E was uh, just um, tentative. So let me uh, think again about second. Uh, drink and Bordeaux. Surely something to do with wine, but I'm not seeing it. Ah, it's not wine, but port. Um, and so to drink is to sup. Bordeaux, I suppose, is an example of port. Not that I'm too familiar with port. And the whole thing is if you second, if you support a motion, uh, I suppose you can second it. All right. Now, our English impertinence, every individual pinches Frenchman's bottom. This one is still as uh, mysterious to me as when we started. Um, every individual. Oh, of course, Frenchman's bottom, I should have thought, is um, the last letter of Frenchman. Ah, yes. And um, a Scottish word for the English. Um, actually, we had it in Ireland as well. A Sassanach. Ah, so English is Sassanach. Impertinence is Sass. And then every each pinches the N from uh, Frenchman's bottom. Uh, very clever clue. Now, austere. Ooh, um, Spartan comes to mind. Let's see how that would work. Oh, you had to box. So, of course, I was only thinking of a box as being a container, but two boxes to spar. And if you belt somebody, you can tan their hide. Oh, my goodness. All right. Holding note with Sinatra. Oh, um, a note could be a tenor. But um, holding, or oh, holding could be a property, right? A small holding. Ah, how about a ten? Ah, it's not Frank Sinatra, it's Nancy. Ah, and the note isn't a ten. Funnily enough, that got me on the right lines, thinking of a tenor and then ten. It's do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, which can be spelled T-E with Nancy Sinatra. And so your holding of a property is your tenancy. All right, so now this is definitely not uh, I-Y. It must be 
as a beanpole is lanky. Great word I haven't heard in a long time. So let's see. Is set. I think set is lay. If you set a plan, you might lay a plan or set the table. You lay the things on the table, which absorbs, oh, nitrogen maybe is simply N, and K is uh, potassium, right? Wow, that was very tough. Make sure I put something in every square. Let's check all. Confirm, everything is still there. All right, let's uh, see what 15 squared has to say. All right, today's blog is by Peter O. Brummy fills the Monday spot in style. He often includes a theme. Yeah, I didn't spot any theme. We'll see if anyone in the comments did. I think in the end, even though there were, I think, were there two I had to reveal and a few I got wrong and had to have a second attempt at, um, I think there was only one I didn't fully understand, and that was Lampoon. Oh, so it's a lamp is a light. Oh, of course. Why didn't I spot that? Yeah, yeah. Plus the ring and attached is on. Ooh, okay. Well, but everything else I think I did finally get there. It took me a while with some of them, as you know, but finally got there. Let's see. Uh, Phantom Stranger thought there were some clunky services. I thought the services, I thought they were good. Uh, yeah, Habit, I think, was maybe the most misleading. Menorah was a tricky one, obviously. Uh, yeah, and, oh yeah, let's see what they say about, ah, uh, how cute. Yeah, I really think awe is more, maybe it's an American versus British thing. But I would have thought a W for how cute. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Someone else put monarch first. <laughs> then I remembered I was Jewish. <laughs> I love that. Thank you for the laugh, Elan. Um, yeah, so... Very, very tricky, that uh, rompers one especially. All right, well, thank you for watching as always, and I hope you have a wonderful day.